to this session so in this session we are going to start the new series of the devops projects so to understand how to work on the different devops project we are starting this uh, series so in this series we are taking the different example of how to create the devops project so this is our first project how we are where we are taking the infrastructure as a code example uh, where we will work with the <coughs> jenkins uh, terraform and aws amazon web services so here we are taking the amazon web services ec2 example we are going to create ec2 uh, ec2 uh, using the terraform script and the same terraform script will be triggered by the jenkins so this is the full flow how uh, we maintaining the our infrastructure using the uh, terraform script uh, this we will see in this complete uh, session so let's start so things we are going to cover in this session so jenkins configuration as uh, part of the uh, what uh, things we have to configure uh, in jenkins uh, using the uh, jenkins file uh, next one is we configure the aws credential how to take the aws credential from the uh, aws im and how to store the same credential in jenkins uh, then uh, we will take the terraform code uh, integration part so uh, how terraform code integration works so we will go to the jenkins file and terraform different command uh, like terraform init plan and apply how that uh, uh, commands are works to create the infrastructure and at last we will see the full uh, end to end flow using the jenkins where we will trigger the our job and we will uh, de deploy our ec2 instance in a aws so let's start so uh, first uh, let's go to the jenkins so this my jenkins are deployed in the aws only so i'm starting here i'm just creating the my first job so i'm giving the my devops project name uh, making the pipeline job so this is our pipeline job and this is the configuration part we have uh, created our own uh, jenkins full uh, tutorial you can go through the that tutorial for to understand the different jenkins uh, functionality uh, here we will go to the pipeline and in pipeline we are taking from the uh, jenkins file from the scm so scm we can take from the different parameter kind of git subversion and uh, we can add the bitbucket also here so here we are taking the git and for git we have to pass our uh, repo let me just click here and this repo link we have to pass so i'm passing the repo link here uh, this is the public repository so no need to add the credential and the branch is master and which jenkins file we have to use so here i have created the jenkins file under my uh, aws ec2 uh, first instance so we will take this path so you can you can configure which jenkins file you want to use so here we are configuring the jenkins file under this folder so this is the configuration portion of uh, from where to fetch jenkins file so this configuration is completed okay now let's see the what is our code in jenkins file uh, first understand so here in the jenkins file you can see uh, what this code is doing so uh, before jenkins file let me show you what our actually aws first instance is creating so this is a simple uh, simple example which create the aws instance simple uh, we are not creating any uh, uh, web server here we are just creating the aws ec2 instance so this is a very simple script now let's go to the jenkins file okay and let's try to understand how jenkins file is work so here we have created the parameter section in the parameter section we have passed the uh, workspace uh, which used to create uh, before we run the uh, jenkins uh, sorry uh, terraform command so we will create the new workspace 
and this auto approval this we have taken the extra uh, stage where we have to uh, pass the approval to uh, create the configuration so sometimes you observe that the production environment having the approval stage so this is the same which required for the special approval to deploy in different stage so here we have taken the example for the approval uh, this is a boolean parameter value where you have to pass uh, yes and no okay so environment section here we have to pass the aws credential so this is the aws access key and aws secret key we have passed we have created the two we have to create the two uh, credential in the jenkins uh, but before that we have to find the aws key and aws access key let's see so while you go in the im in the user section so you can get your credential security credential access key from here so uh, I'm, it won't be show here but you can generate the new one also uh, and while creating the new user it will give you the uh, all details uh, even it will give the uh, csv download so you can save for your future reference so this is my access key and the secret key uh, i can make the inactive also even i can create the new one also so from here uh, let me show you uh, if i will just add new user I'm showing the test. I'm creating the user with the both access, giving the administrator group and done. So this user will be created here. It will show you the secret key and access key and this secret key and access key we will take and uh, will configure in a Jenkins. So this show you the ones uh, at a first time post that it won't show you the secret key. You can download from here also. Okay, uh, let me go back and just I'm removing this user. Okay, so my user is removed. Let's again go to the Jenkins side where to configuration uh, for the credential. So in credential, you have to go in a Jen manage Jenkins and in manage Jenkins, you will find the uh, credential section, manage credential. And here we will add the new credential. Uh, how to add, let me show you. Uh, go to Jenkins subsystem and add credential you will find and in credential you have to pass the sec uh, secret text that's our uh, access key uh, paste your access key here and give the your access key name so i'm not adding here because we already add uh, i will sh i will just show you the uh, the updation portion so this is my access key i have added here let me update here so this is my id i have given this is a description and this is access key uh, you can just change here uh, but we don't require to change we already have so this access key we have added the same way we have added the secret key so this uh, two variable will add as a globally in uh, jenkins side and this two variable we can use in any of our jenkins script okay now let's again go to the uh, our code so here we am not i'm taking uh, any of our uh, agent uh, running so there is only uh, jenkins running so we are not added any node uh, then we are going to check out our code and post check out the, our core job will start so we do the init terraform init then we create the one terraform workspace post that terraform workspace we are selecting that same workspace so this environment variable pass here in the parameter so this is the workspace workspace name we are which we are passing while we creating job uh, workspace uh, post that we creating the terraform plan which having the output file is a tf plan so this tf plan will use to apply our configuration uh, this is show command what is in our tf plan and post that our approval stage will be there so here we are expecting the true then it will take the auto approval else it will throw a message for approval stage and this will read the uh, input file from the ta plan txt this one it will show you while uh, we are running our script and at last this is the apply stage so apply stage what doing and this is doing the simply terraform apply with the ta plan the same plan which created the while terraform plan 
command executed so this plan will be executed uh, this plan will be created the infrastructure with execution of the terraform apply let's go to jenkins side and again i'm just going to the our project configuration so this is a project created uh, let me create our job let's see whether it's get success or fail so i just create this build job here so this will do the check uh, declarative checkout this it will take the code from the uh, uh, it will uh, take the code from the github and here we can see our first job is get failed so where did it fail it's a get failed in the plan so it's failed because uh, i already have the same uh, workspace name let me run again the same project okay so initially it will check out uh, but the first project it won't get the uh, variable so here the terraform was my uh, uh, workspace and which was already uh, there so i'm just creating a new workspace name is the aws and just creating the job so this will run it will do the plan so we can go through the our console log also so it taken the jenkins as a node first git checkout then the first command is executed terraform init so this terraform init will be run you can see the information so terraform init successfully initialized post that it will create the new workspace name is the aws then it will select that workspace you can see here it will selected that workspace and post that it will uh, execute the terraform plan command so this terraform plan will be command it will add the output in the tf plan name and this information what uh, things going to create okay so there is one resource will be add zero change and zero destroy this is terraform out plan and now you can see here uh, this is the terraform show is done now it expecting the approval let's go to the high level you can do give the approval from here also uh, this is the information which we have the terraform plan out so this is the output there is the some changes what changes so you can see the change is zero there is a one resource going to add i'm just giving the approval from here and now it will go to the terraform apply command so see it's started terraform apply command it will create the new instance in our web so it's creating the new instance we can go to the ec2 section just to validate their instance get created or not so one new instance is created this is the initializing so this is the first instance is my jenkins instance let me just uh, rename here okay so this is my jenkins running but this is instance which we have created let's see the status here it's a successful instance created having the tf state file also there okay so now let's run again the same project with the new uh, workspace so it will do the terraform plan so this will also create new instance so this instance is creating so this is the end to end flow where we are executing our terraform script which basically create the aws infrastructure so that's called the uh, infrastructure as a code we are not doing anything manually and uh, uh, we are triggering from jenkins uh, next session we are going to understand in depth level how we can uh, save the uh, terraform state so it won't create the new repetitive things uh, and if anything uh, update adds uh, from the console side terraform will make sure the it state as uh, you have written in a, as a code
so let's try to understand what we have learned in the test uh, part one so we in uh, first session we have understand how to configure jenkins configuration uh, with respect to the uh, respect to the, our jenkins file and the uh, uh, github uh, repositories second is that we configure the aws some uh, credentials uh, then we configure the jenkins code integration we did uh, again we have created the jenkins file which will peak from the repository and the final flow we have created the some uh, we have created the uh, ec2 instance in the cloud so in this session what we are going to understand in this session we are going to understand the s3 configuration uh, which will store the state of terraform resource file on the cloud so this is important while you are playing with the devops project so when you store when you create your infrastructure and if you keep your uh, state file in the local if it get deleted if it get moved this the backup of the state file is mandatory so how to play with the um, backup uh, configuration that we will see here how to configure how to prevent that backup configuration we will use the aws s3 backend configuration example here the second is the uh, remote state so that's how we will see the details of the remote states the configuration part uh, and we'll also see the dynamodb locking so uh, the another session will not execute at the same time uh, we will going to launch a web application in this session uh, we will not simply create the ec2 instance we will create the web uh, application that's apache server and we'll also see the auto build trigger from the uh, uh, repo uh, from the repository from the jenkins so we will also configure the webhook configuration in this session so let's start without fail okay so i'm at the jenkins uh, this is my repo you can see here okay so let me just go through the repo first of what we have added some of things so we have added some variables over here so in this session we are going to use the region variable so this variable basically used while you you work with the different uh, region so this is required because uh, when you when you use a uh, deployment so you are some of time the QA having the one region but production having the multiple region you could make the differentiate over here you could use the environment variable where you can use the production environment QA environment dev environment and this is service name basically we are using here okay so this is the configuration plan uh, I will go through the each one here okay before that let me configure here so i'm just creating the new project here so i'm giving the devops part two so this is a kind of uh, improvement in the first session so initially we improve our code we improve our quality that this is the same way initially we have configured the basic things here we will going to uh, take some kind of advanced configuration let me create here okay now i'm just taking the our url for the cloning so this is same repo so in pipeline script uh, scm here we'll use the git and i'm just passing the our url here uh, here we have created one um, a branch which is the devops so this branch i'm uh, making the checkout and there is one a folder structure that's a devops project one in this folder structure there is jenkins file you can find the same here okay so let's move so i'm simply saving here okay now our project is ready okay before that we will also understand the s3 uh, configuration so here i have created the one bucket aws terraform devops back, uh, backend so this bucket we will use to store our s3 uh, resource here uh, i will show you once this resource will be created second i'm showing here the dynamodb table so i have created this uh, manually this terraform table having the log id as a uh, structure this is a simple structure i have added the one key is the lock id so here the lock id will be created so simultaneously if your job is running uh, other job will not run for your code okay uh, let's move to the understand code now so i'm just ignoring this environment variable which, which we already discussed in the session one so just moving to the plan 
So how plan will be start? So here we'll use the Terraform init. So Terraform init will use the backend is true. I'm making the backend is true. What kind of backend we will um, which use from the uh, our main file? Let me show you that file also. So it's a main.tf. Uh, here I have created the provider.tf. So here I'm using the backend is the S3. So while I'm doing the initialize, it will enabling here. So backend is true. Then I'm just passing the backend configuration. So in which bucket I want to store my uh, 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 backend configuration. So my uh, state file. So my bucket is this one. AWS state from DevOps backend. This bucket will store my uh, state file. Uh, the key, the name of the my uh, state file would be the Terraform hyphen uh, region. So region variable I'm taking here. So this could be the uh, for the specific region I want to create the Terraform uh, state file, and then I'm just passing the my service uh, name as uh, my state file. So here we have passed the bucket, the name of the state file. Uh, the region of bucket so i created bucket region specific region so we can pass here the region and the last the dynamo db table so in which dynamo db table i want to use so this dynamo db table i we have created the terraform name we can pass the variable but uh, this is the taken the uh, sort example other uh, terraform this will be used the lock so this will lock from the this terraform uh, dynamo db table so once this uh, init will be done post that what we are doing we are creating the workspace here so i'm just grabbing the existing workspace is not there then it will create the new workspace and post that it will create the terraform plan so here uh, we, we made some small changes so i want to create my instance web application in specific region so i just have to pass the region while i'm triggering my job so if you pass the region, for example, if you want to deploy your uh, job in uh, uh, U-West 1 or U-S-East 1, so you can simply pass your variable. It will uh, just take from your variable from the uh, Jenkins global configuration and it will pass to your Terraform job. Post that, it will show the Terraform show. That's uh, 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 the configuration part. And here the approval takes and simply ignoring. But at last you can see the apply part. So apply will do the, the same plan which we have created will be apply from the Terraform uh, plan. So this apply will create your configuration end to end. So let's uh, go to the, our project. So we already configured. Let me uh, build this one because uh, this will be basically get fail because we didn't pass the sum of the variable. Yes. Let me trigger again. Okay, now it's came the build width parameter. So here we have to pass the environment. That's a workspace name. Uh, this is a region where I want to uh, create. I have taken the default value, the US East one. If you want to change, you can uh, change to two or whatever you are required. Uh, environment, we have passed a prod. Uh, we can change to QA or uh, dev. You can configure. And this is service name which I have given for the, our service deployment. So we have we are going to create the Apache server. So just let me click build. This will start the configuration. So checkout is done. Let's go to the plan. So it might get fail or get passed. We can go through the details uh, to understand the error. So, but we can go through this console log whether what is going to happen. This is the uh, Terraform init part. It's basically init uh, from the S3 backend. You can see here and it successfully. Uh, you can also see the log in the uh, table here. So this log is created. Uh, this is the multiple logs, but that should be the only one. Okay, so now uh, we'll see again why there is multiple logs. We can delete and check. Uh, no issues. Let's go through the log here. This is the Terraform plan. So there is a two resource we'll be going to create. Zero is destroy. And now plan is expecting the approval. So here we are giving the approval. But before that, you can see here what's going to uh, see, uh, going to create. So I'm just click here. Proceed. So this will create a resource here uh, after Terraform apply command. So let's see, uh, let's go to the instance 
and there is one Jenkins server will be uh, running. So this Jenkins server is running, and this Apache server is uh, initializing. So this my Apache server which we have created here. So it's running. So again, it's uh, waiting for the state here. Same way. So my resource has been created. You can see there is a two resource created. This is our output for the uh, our Apache server. We can access with this IP also. okay so the server is not accessible let's go to understand why server is not accessible uh, let me go to the, this uh, security group here so this security group which we have created there is a port 80 is allow even we don't have the access for okay so it's got auto refresh so basically uh, uh, user data will take some time some time so just doing the configuration so our server has been deployed it's, uh, properly accessible uh, let's go to the understand uh, the configuration part for the auto commit so auto commit will basically use the uh, configuration for the github integration so you have to use the github uh, integration plugin so i have installed github integration plugin so this uh, plugin once you plug in install you will get this uh, hook i'm just simply enable this hook let me show here so i'm just updating the configuration part here so we can directly uh, see here Let's update the tag here. I'm just updating the tag Apache server one. So this submit commit. Okay, now commit has been done. Let's go and see here. Okay, so we can see the build three is auto trigger. It's got start. Okay, so build three is started. Okay, for that, what configuration required? You have to install the GitHub plugin in the Jenkins, and here you have to configure the webhook. So, in the um, GitHub side, you have to configure webhook. Go to the webhook and add your webhook. So, simply you just uh, copy your URL that uh, that Jenkins part and add the GitHub hyphen webhook. What kind of event you want to configure? You can configure with the post configuration. I'm not going uh, in depth. Uh, if you want to see, I can show that also. Okay, so in webhook, you just have to add the payload URL. So this is your payload URL, and there is a two types. So I'm just uh, using the application JSON. What event you required? So you can configure the select individual. You can configure everything. You can use the post also. So I just uh, configure here the uh, send me everything. So in init we have given the key as a terraform hyphen the uh, region name and here we will find our file. So let's see this for a configuration part in this file. Let me open this one. Uh, saving the Apache 3. So Apache 3 having the configuration part you can see this is the all information which we have created. This, so this is the uh, instance which we have created. This is our default configuration for all the instance. So this is state file. It's maintaining from here. So if we rerun the same project, it won't create the new resource. Let's see, uh, I'm just running the same, which we trigger the automatically from the uh, git commit. Uh, let's see, this will just simply check the configuration and it will ignore the configuration. See, so it won't create anything new, just some change which we have given. That's a name is the uh, instance name. Let's see the instance name is got changed or not. So our instance name got changed Apache server uh, to server 1. So this is completely uh, reflected here and this is all about the DevOps project which is the part of the continuous deployment. So here we are creating the infrastructure and we are deploying the, uh, our web application. So if you have any query, if you have any question, you can drop your query in the same YouTube uh, video link and we will come with the uh, requested video also. Please uh, be connected and share your feedback. Thank you.